And as we continue our series on 50 ways to shade, most of the things I've talked about have been about barrier methods, ways to simply block UV from actually touching your skin. Now there are a whole slew of what we call antioxidants out there that can reduce the impact of UV on your skin on the DNA of your cells, as well as the extracellular matrix of your cells, reduce the overall impact of UV exposure on your skin. There are a variety of options out there that address that antioxidant aspect of UV damage that's worthy of thinking about. Now remember, antioxidants are not intended to replace your sun protective methods. I still want you to wear sunscreen, sun protective clothing, hats, and sunglasses, but consider the role of antioxidants for a variety of reasons. One is to decrease the damage that could be imparted to your cells, always taking into consideration that barrier methods are not perfect. There are gonna be days that you forget to use them, forget to reapply them, things that we need to consider that supplementing your routine with antioxidants can help. Let's talk about something called polypodium leucotomus. Polypodium is an extract of ferns found in Central and South America. An extract of these fern leaves has been shown to have phenolic compounds that are well known for their antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Now polypodium, if it's found in a higher enough concentration, can actually serve several roles. First of all, polypodium can inhibit the production of reactive oxygen species and by doing so reduces the impact they have on our cells. It also has the ability to actually scavenge our skin for reactive oxygen species that might already be present. The end result is with that with less reactive oxygen species or ROS for short, there's less damage imparted to our skin cells from that exposure. Now it actually has been shown to also improve our DNA repair system, which actually can help our skin self-repair themselves after exposure to UV. The DNA of our skin cells actually have the ability to repair themselves after exposure to UV light if given the opportunity to do so. It does reduce the number of sunburn cells that we develop as a result of exposure to UV light. In terms of photoaging for our skin, it's been shown to reduce the impact of UVA on our skin as well. Now it's also been studied for use during the treatment of vitiligo, atopic dermatitis, type of skin rash called polymorphous light eruption from light exposure. All of these are under the guidance of a dermatologist, so don't use these without consulting your dermatologist first. But it does show the range of medical uses out there that are worthy of talking to your doctor about it. If you're looking for other ways to navigate your UV exposure and the impact on your skin overall.